In today's video, I will be rearranging my porch, moving stuff around. No. Moving my hutch that's in my dining room out onto my porch or sunroom, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. And making room for my big yeah. armor that I got on Facebook Marketplace for $50 that I'm trying to turn into a coffee bar. Not realizing how big it was, where I wanted to put it, it was way too big for that space. So my only other option was to put it in the dining room against the wall where my hutch was and then move my hutch out onto my porch or sunroom. So I hope you enjoy today's video. Now I'm going to move this out here against this wall because my plan is to redo this armor that I just got for $50 on Marketplace and turn it into a coffee bar. I don't know if that's something I'll get to today because it's not a small project by any means, but I'm excited to do it. But for now, I'm just going to rearrange some of my furniture so that I have a place to put this beast. So when I do redo this, I, it might have to be a whole video of its own because like I said, it's, I don't know if you can really see. It looks small on camera, but it's not. It's six and a half foot tall and like 50 inches wide. So I not only have, oh, let's see if I can show you without it being too natural lighting in here stinks. So I know it's a pretty big space. on how froggy I feel to do it and get it done. And then the hardware I'm going to keep, I think I'm going to take it off though and spray paint it a matte black. I think. And I'm pretty excited. Now to move my heart that I read down last year. Yes. Out here onto my porch, well, the sunroom, whatever you want to call it, <laughs> and the space out here for my porch, up small, on camera,
I gotta think on it for a few minutes. Let me see if I can tip you up so you can see. Oh, sorry about that. I guess it on camera it doesn't look bad. In person, I'm not. Maybe I need to stand at the same angle as my camera. Move for me. Move for me. Move for me. Move for me. I've decided I'm going to leave my frame up there for now. I'll decorate my hutch back up and then see how it looks. And go from there.
I'll show you what it looks like after now that I'm all done.
I decided that I'm going to just leave the inside like this because there are shelves that go in there and I don't, nobody's going to see it but me. Um, so I'm going to paint like the whole outside and paint the inside because this is what, this is the main part that I'm turning into a coffee bar. In the original space I wanted to put it, it's too tall and too wide and it blocks our vent to our furnace. I mean, we have a wood stove, but we also have a furnace for a backup. So I can't go there. This is the only place I could put it, which means I had to move my hutch, which I had done earlier, and put it out on my sunroom. Porch, enclosed porch, sunroom, whatever you want to call it. So, my next step is to scuff sand the front doors, the front panel here, the bottom, and then this whole side. Then I'll be ready to paint. And that's the fun part. I didn't even realize that I wasn't recording until I had to stop and get my son's new chips to snack on. And I realized I didn't even push the door box. I did start painting. I went ahead and did two coats of the Soulful Gray on the whole inside and the whole outside. I then had some lathe boards from my mother-in-law from her old farmhouse. I want to say her house was built in like 1890, something like that. So it's like 200 years old or more. And so, and that's what I put here are these little like one and a half inch lathe boards that they used in the walls of old farmhouses. So what I went and did is not only did I cut them to size and put them in here, 
I then stained it with coffee stain that I made. And now I'm gonna go through and do like a light whitewash just to kind of mute the brown a little bit, I guess you could say. Um, and some of them weren't right measured, measured right. You know what I'm trying to say. Um, so I couldn't, I don't have like a table saw or a scroll saw to strip one of these boards right down the center or to cut it down lengthwise because it goes wide from this end and then starts to go really thin over here. I mean, I could have did it in sections if I wanted it to look that way, but I just, I said the heck with it. And so what I did was I turned one of the boards sideways and kind of made like a little shelf. So we can't really put anything obviously too big up there because it's only like a one inch little board shelf. But I can put a couple little signs or something up there. So yeah, that's, so now my plan for today, because this is, I'm going on day three of doing this project, um, is on the outside. I think I'm going to leave the inside the way it is, except for the lathe boards in the back. Those I'm going to lighten up a little bit. And then I think the outside, I'm going to do the brown and white and tan kind of like mixture of paints um, so that I can kind of blend them in and kind of get like the restoration hardware kind of look at least that's what I'm going for and like I said if it doesn't work out that way then I'll just repaint the whole thing it's not a big deal but instead of making more work for myself I think I'm just gonna leave the inside this way I'll put a top coat on here because this is where my coffee maker and stuff will set. Then obviously like our coffee cups will be down here. And I don't want this to get really scratched or ruined, so I'll probably put a coat or two of uh, poly curl on here as well. Or at least where the cups will sit, I guess. But yeah, it's, so far it turned out better than I expected.
gold armoire. Now I'm just going to put the hardware on. I went ahead and spray painted the hardware on that black, put those on, and then I did one coat of polyurethane where the coffee maker will sit, and down here where my coffee cups will be. I did one coat on the back wall, just I was hoping to kind of brighten it up, but I think it muted everything more than what I intended, but it still looks good, at least to me anyways. So, but that's going to be it for today for this video. I will do another video of putting new pendant lights in, moving my coffee maker and decorating it. Um, I'm only going to do it that way because I'm already on day five or four. I can't remember. It's been too long. Four or five, anyways. So, and I don't want to make the video too long where you get bored with it. So I figured I'll decorate it and put the lights in, move everything over. And I might include like my fall decor, decorate with me, possibly in the same video. Depends, we'll see. But I hope you enjoy. Thank you for watching.